Hey guys, Andos Gaming here. Welcome to another Warzone video. In today's episode, we are going to talk about how to push enemy squads in Call of Duty Warzone. Have you ever had sessions where you're pushing squads and you're just not having a good time and sometimes you're feeling like this at the end of the session? All I have are negative thoughts. Well, guys, it does happen. I noticed with skill-based matchmaking, you'll be versing a lot of sweaty Warzone players these days. However, not to worry, in today's episode, I'll be giving you some tips and tricks and all the insights on everything that you need to know on how to push squads in Warzone. We will also be breaking down some gameplay from some of the best players in the world. I notice you guys like it when I break down some pro gameplay, so we'll be doing that in today's episode. Remember, if you find this video helpful at all, if you enjoy this type of content, remember to smash that like button. The goal is to hit 50 likes for today's episode, so if, yeah, if you could smash that little thumbs up button, that would be much appreciated. Also, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Andos Gaming. I come out with a lot of tips and tricks videos. I break everything down so it's easier to learn. I also like to analyze how the best players in the world do it. I break down their gameplay and give a different perspective. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you smash that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And again, thank you all for the support and thank you for watching my content. But without further ado, let's begin. In today's episode, we're going to be breaking down some gameplay from Booya. He's one of the top Warzone players in the world today. If you don't know who he is, go check him out. I'll leave a link to his YouTube and Twitch in the description. He's known for just being cool, calm and collected. Look at him. He doesn't even sweat. Just pure focus. So let's see what he does here and see what we can learn. So he's got a UAV here, there's three enemies in total. Two of them have high ground and one guy's on the left. So this is where the decisions are made. You can either go left and take out the guy on the left. However, that leaves a possibility for the two guys with high ground to third party the fight. He makes the correct decision by going to the right and isolating the fight. If you notice Swag is behind him, his teammate, also Beast, my man Swag, shout out to him. He goes to the left. Booyah goes to the right, so this way they can isolate their fights and they don't get third party. As you can see, Buyu's aim is amazing, however that was a little bit fast, so let's rewind that. Buyu notices the enemy over the hill, so he's pretty much at a disadvantage at this point. The enemy has high ground and he has a head glitch as well. But if you notice, the enemy strafes to the right, so what does Buyu do? He strafes to the right also. So what this is, is he's mirroring the enemy's movement, making it very easy for him to track the enemy. This is a very useful technique. So when in gunfights, remember to counter strafe and mirror movement when applicable. If you're not sure what these are, I will leave a link in the description of an aim training video that I did that goes over the details. Check that out at the end of the video if you want. So key note here, Buya gets the first down, the second guy gets in a few shots on him. So what he does really well is he re-challenges and he stays calm. A lot of people try to ego challenge and they freak out, but watch him play, he's just cool, calm and collected. If you notice, he's always checking his left flank because there was someone there before that he didn't kill. I'm not sure where he went to be honest. And he's always kind of moving around, just making sure that if he does get shot, he can use the heels as cover. If you appreciate that breakdown, remember to sub to the YouTube channel Andos Gaming. I'll be doing a lot more of those in the future. And if you enjoy this type of content, remember to smash that like button as well. But another key reminder, remember to check out Buyo. He's one of the best players in the world. I've learned so much from watching him. I'll leave the link in the description to his YouTube channel and his Twitch account. In the next section of the video, I'll be breaking down some of my own gameplay and giving you guys some tips and tricks. So I hope that helps. So as you can see here, we have a bounty, we have a vehicle and we're about to push this squad. Can you take us to green? 
One of my teammates is driving. In Before car, getting yeah. to the destination, oh, I, I try to let them know, hey, can you just drop me off here? If you notice here, I marked the spot green where I want to get dropped off. The best case scenario is try to pick a place where you have cover and high ground. I call these power positions. You want to be able to attack without too much risk. Maybe not. I might jump out. So as you can see, that's a successful push, but let's rewind that and just break down the last part. There's a couple little details I want you guys to notice. Notice how we get out the car here. We get out before the driver stops. So this is what you want to do when you're pushing squads with vehicles. You want the driver to drive a bit further so they can distract the enemy while you get off beforehand and you can take the enemy by surprise. Another key note here, notice how I'm always moving. Even though I have high ground and power position, I'm always moving or strafing while shooting just to make sure I'm not an easy target. In this scenario, my squad has popped a UAV and we notice the full squad in the building ahead and I kind of spot this guy on the roof here just lurking. Above you or below? Way above. On shot on the roof, Andy. Nice. So right now, I'm about to push this building. I'm feeling really confident. I've already got one on the roof down. That's really important. It's called getting a first pick. So just getting that first down before you fully commit to a push is really advantageous, especially if squads are held up in buildings. Looks like a successful push to me, but let's rewind that and break down a couple details. Okay, this is my thought process at the moment. I've just downed the second guy and I've got some split decisions to make. I know the third guy is behind the wall waiting for me. I'm assuming he's going to be pre-aiming down this angle right here. So what I do is I decide to go to the right to attack from a different angle. And notice how I slide cancel around the corner to attack from a different angle and I guess correctly as you can see the enemy is kind of looking where we predicted and we're able to get the pick. I hope you did enjoy that breakdown and just another thing I want to stress movement in Warzone is actually really really important. I've actually made an advanced movement guide in regards to Warzone so if you are interested make sure to check it out I'll leave a link in the description. So that is it for today's video I hope you did enjoy that and find some sort of value. Warzone is a really hard game so be patient with it, it's taken me a long time to just to get at least decent at this game. So I hope this video has helped you in some kind of way and I'll guess I will see you guys in the next tips and tricks videos. This is Andos Gaming and have a good day.